Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. This is Juan, the OC agent here at Nationwide Real Estate Executives. I hope that you and your families are doing well. As always, it is May 9th, 2020, and this is your market update for Orange County. After seven weeks of staying at home, working in your jammies, and becoming your child's teacher, things are finally starting to open up slowly. And a return to a new normal, whatever that may be, is on the horizon. Same goes for the local real estate market. After reaching an all-time low to numbers last seen during the Great Recession, buyer demand and housing inventory is now on the rise. Buyers, sellers, and the real estate industry as a whole have adapted to the new normal. Buyers are now viewing homes while wearing face masks, rubber gloves, and while respecting the social distancing protocols. Everything that was once a face-to-face -face meeting has moved online. As a result, we have seen buyer demand rise by 9% in the last two weeks, and home showing traffic has gone from negative 68% off the baseline in March to just negative 0.2% today. We still have a bit of ways to go before we are back to where we should be at this time of year, but we have definitely made some progress. Expect buyer demand to continue to rise going forward, especially with the added incentive of record low mortgage rates. In fact, they have reached an all-time low last week, dropping to an average of 3.23% across the country. With lower rates, homes have become much more affordable. For example, in looking at a $700,000 mortgage, the average monthly payment at 3.25% is about $3,046 per month. That is $712 per month savings or $8,544 per year compared to where rates were in November of 2018. The savings are staggering, which helps explain why demand is starting to rise. It is hard to ignore the impact on affordability as rates hit these unprecedented levels. In the last couple of weeks, inventory has grown by 6%, adding 281 homes for, homes for sale here in Orange County alone. And the total number of homes for sale now sits at 4,625. Inventory is still very low. COVID-19 has made that even worse. In the last four weeks, 54% fewer homes were placed on the market compared to a five-year average. With demand rising faster than inventory, the expected time on market has decreased from 121 days to 118 days today reversing the market's trajectory into a buyer's market and returning to a balanced market where neither side has the upper hand. For buyers in Orange County, the current environment may prove to be the best time to jump in on purchasing a home. Interest rates are an all-time low, and even though we are not in a full-blown buyer's market, we have seen that sellers are more willing to negotiate in this environment. For sellers looking to put their house on the market, the odds are in your favor. Inventory is low, so you don't have to compete with a sea of homes on, on the market for sale, and you have a large pool of eager and very qualified buyers looking for homes. As a reminder, these numbers are Orange County specific, and things may be somewhat different in your city or in your neighborhood. If you'd like to find out what your home is worth in this environment or you need real estate advice, call me or send me a message. You can reach me at 949-400-2287. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a look at what has happened in the OC housing market in the last two weeks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next video.